Let's set up a new user who can access our QuickBooks company file. QuickBooks allows us to set up up to 10,000 users per company file. Each company file has its own set of users. However, only five users at a time can access QuickBooks. We can set up multiple users to access QuickBooks on the same computer. For example, if your company shares one computer and different people access QuickBooks, we recommend setting up different users for each one of these individuals. This is important, for example, if you're using Audit Trail. This way, each person will be tracked with Audit Trail separately. Let's begin by coming over here under Company, Setup Users. Let's add a user. We just hired Cindy as a receptionist and she's going to assist us with billing. The password she wants to use is 5555. Click on Next and we're given a choice here of whether or not we want to give Cindy selected access or access to all areas. We want to limit Cindy's access and so we're going to leave the first choice selected. Click on Next. Now we're going to go through a series of nine screens and we're going to assign Cindy's access. Here the first screen is Sales and Accounts Receivable. This is what we hired Cindy to help us with to process invoices. Full access or selective access. If we give Cindy full access, she'll be able to process invoices and process payments against those invoices. For control reasons, this is not a good idea. So we're going to give her selective access, create transactions only. Next, purchases and accounts payable. Cindy's not going to be doing anything in this area. So we're going to leave no access selected. Checking and credit cards. Once again, no access. Time tracking. Cindy's going to be able to need access to time tracking so she can enter her time for payroll. So we're going to give her selective access. Create transactions only. Payroll. Cindy's not going to have anything to do with payroll. No access. Sensitive accounting activities. Journal entries and online banking. Once again, no access. Sensitive financial reporting. No access. This is an important screen. Changing or deleting transactions. Do we want this user to have the ability to change or delete transactions in the areas they have access to? Yes, we do. We don't want to have to go in and correct all of Cindy's typing mistakes. So when she's processing invoices, we're going to want to, her to have the ability to edit those invoices. So leave this as yes. Down here, should this user have the ability to change or delete transactions recorded before the closing date? No. Next, now we have a summary of Cindy's permission rights. If all looks correct, click on Finish. And now Cindy is set up as a user. 